Couldn't catch this IFL TV. Dan, I know you was on your way out, so I'll keep it brief. But what have we watched tonight? Something spectacular with Tyson Fury. Yeah, we saw a great performance from a great heavy, what I think now we can call a great heavyweight champion. He's, he's the lineal champion. He's the WBC champion. He's undefeated still. He's the number one heavyweight in the world. He just scored a brilliant knockout against uh, an opponent that, that had him almost knocked out 14 months ago. And he didn't just win the fight and do it in a you know a kind of unsatisfying manner. He did it in a dominating, brutal, ruthless, clinical, you know, devastating fashion. He just completely took apart Deontay Wilder, who was undefeated, who had never he had a couple of trouble spots here and there in a couple of fights in never his career. Never been dropped. Yeah. I think he got dropped once way back when, you know, a long time ago. Maybe not. But the point was, he was just completely outclassed. He was never in the fight. Did you believe Fury when he said no. what he was going to do? He said no. round two, but we'll, we'll allow him for that. But no, I wasn't I'm yeah. even talking about the, the fact he said round two. I was talking about how he said he's just going to completely go after and be yeah. aggressive. I thought he might do that in spots. I didn't think he would make it the focal point of his entire game plan and literally not box at all, essentially. He didn't really use his jab. He didn't use his feet. He went right into his grill and started banging away. Mm. And... You know, he bullied the bully in a sense. Not to say Deontay's a bully, but Deontay's more usually the aggressive fighter. I thought, I thought Wilder, look, there's no higher praise you can give to Tyson Fury. He said what he was going to do. He went in there in that fight against a top quality opponent who was, by my estimation, either the number one heavyweight in the world or the number two heavyweight in the world going into the fight. And he, he didn't just beat him. He knocked him out. He dropped him twice. Made the corner quit. I mean, there's nothing else you can do to be more... more uh, convincing that you're the rightful winner of the fight. Do you think Wilder will take the third fight? Yeah. You do, I mean, yeah. Deontay's a competitive guy. There's a huge amount of money at stake. Um, why wouldn't he? Mm. What else is he going to do? Where else can he make another you know, 20 plus million without question and get a chance to revenge a loss and get the title and avenge uh, you know, a, a tough situation for him? I, I don't think there's any question that he's going to take the rematch. What do you think Anthony Joshua's thinking right now? You know... I don't, I don't think Anthony Joshua was thinking about this. I mean, Anthony's got his own career path. Anthony is a, is a top heavyweight also. I mean, if, if Tyson Fury is the number one heavyweight, in my estimation, after tonight, Joshua's number two. And uh, Joshua may not have been as satisfying in his rematch with Ruiz and the way he went about it. But And I wrote about this. I know people, people were critical, saying that, well, it was boring, he looked scared, he didn't... You know, he had this giant guy in front of him that was so out of shape and not prepared for the fight that he should have been able to go after him, and he looked a little afraid, and he was on the back foot and whatever. No, 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 no. I don't care about that. In his mind, he got knocked out in June, and he had to win that fight at all costs. And he and Rob McCracken came up with a perfect game plan, which was to box his rear end off and go in there and do exactly what he had to do to win, whether we liked it or not. You know, he's given us plenty of entertainment and, and, and put a lot of risk in some of his fights. That night in Saudi Arabia, he had to do it for himself and box and get the victory. That's not going to, you know, to say we're going to see him do that every fight or go back to his old style, whatever. But he had to do what he had to do against that opponent. The same way Tyson Fury, by the way, had to do what he had to do against Deontay Wilder. He said, I boxed in the first fight. It didn't work. So I had to try and do something different, which was the opposite, which was to go forward and be aggressive and, and try to get the knockout. He did that. So, you know, Tyson Fury has his career path. He's a tremendous fighter. Joshua, same thing. The great hope, of course, is that whatever happens, if there's a third fight between he and Deontay, and whatever happens with Joshua and his mandatories, that at some point we're going to see Joshua fight the winner of, I guess, the third fight between Wilder and Fury. And even if it's not Fury, someday see them fight each other even off a loss because they're still the among the top fighters of the era, and you want to have that round robin completed the same way they did in the old days. Dan, thank you very much for your time, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. You got it, my friend. Top man.